Today we continue. From Martin Luther King Jr. But we must not stop with the cultivation of a tough mind. The gospel also demands a tender heart. Tough mindedness without tender heartedness is cold and detached, leaving one's life in a perpetual winter devoid of the warmth of spring and the gentle heat of summer. What is more tragic than to see a person who has risen to the disciplined height of tough mindedness, but has at the same time sunk to the passionless depth of hard heartedness? The hard hearted person never truly loves. He engages in a crass utilitarianism which values other people mainly according to their usefulness to him. He never experiences the beauty of friendship because he's too cold to feel affection for another and is too self-centered to share another's joy and sorrow. He's an isolated island. No outpouring of love links him with the mainland of humanity. It's a quote from John Donne, in case you didn't catch it. The hard-hearted person lacks the capacity for genuine compassion. He's unmoved by the pains and afflictions of his brothers. He passes dollars to a worthwhile charity, but he gives not of his spirit. The hard-hearted individual never sees people as people, but rather as mere objects or as impersonal cogs in an ever-turning wheel. In the vast wheel of industry, he sees men as hands. In the massive wheel of big city life, he sees men as digits in a multitude. In the deadly wheel of army life, he sees men as numbers in a regiment. He depersonalizes life. We'll hear the other side of this tomorrow.